Welcome back. This is Dan Hebe with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this video today, we're going to take a look at Flat Icon. It's a great place where you can go and get a lot of different icons. Everybody's going with really kind of a flat design these days. And so icons have become a real big part of getting the design right on your site. So let's just take a look here. And as always, if you like my stuff, just click on the subscribe button over here and subscribe. So what we're going to do is we're going to stay on this page here and let's just type in the word graph. So let's just say we want to find some icons that have some sort of graph on it or something. Let's see what we get here. Now, as you see, as it's pulling up, you're going to see that there's some with these little crowns on it, and that's for premium content if you have paid for it. And we'll just see what happens as we get this loaded up. Okay, this is going to work out great here. So let's just take a look at this one here because it's very simple. It's just black and white. And let's just click on these three dots and then we'll click on edit. And what we can do is first off, apparently I need to log in. And whenever possible, I usually log in using my Google account. And now that we're logged in, we can come back over here again, click on the three dots and then click on to edit. And what you're going to see here is at the top, it has this little black circle. That little black circle says that there's really only one color on this icon, but we can change that one color. So let's just grab a hold of our color on the palette here and we'll just move it around. And now it's going to be red. You, of course, you can come down here. You can make it blue. You can do whatever you would like with it. And it also shows you what your last uh, selected colors are. So you could add that to your collection or you could download load it at this point. But now let's take a look at some of these here that have a lot of different colors on them. And let's just grab this one right here. Again, click on the three dots, then on edit. And what you're going to see here is all these different colors across the top. Each one of these represents a color that is on this item right here, right on this icon. And so let's say we want to change this red color. We can just click on the red color. Or you can come over here into the image and you can click anywhere inside of the image. Let's say we want this blue color. So we'll click on that blue color and then it uh, notates it up here by turning it into a circle like that. And then what you can do is just start moving this around until you get that color where you want it. And then you just uh, let go and it's right there. You, of course, could also come in and put in a hexadecimal number down here if you have specific colors on your site and you want to be able to use those colors. So again here, we can look at the orange and you just move your, you just move your mouse around on here or you pick out the color that you want to affect. And so let's just go with uh, this orange color right there. And let's say we want to make that more of a red and we can move it around and then we can create that red. And then when you're done, you got all your colors the way you want. It matches your site. You're going to come here. You're going to click on download, you're going to download this as a PNG at 512, make it as large as you possibly can. And then what it'll do is it'll drop it down here. I'm on a Mac, of course. And so it just drops it down here and saves it onto my desktop. And of course, up here at the top, we can say we want all of them, or we only want the free ones, or we want premium ones. And then you can also put in a color filter. And you can say whether you want them to be just black and white or multicolored or all of them. And then you can also click over here and you can see the most uh, popular ones or the ones that have been most recently added to the collection. So you could basically come in here and grab any one of these. Now, again, these here that are just black and white, you can only change one color on them. So if you want to be able to change multiple colors and have different colors, you can't come in here and say, okay, I want this white area in the background here. I want that to be blue now. You can't do that. You can only change the colors that are existing. So if we come in on this one here and we can edit this, we can change all of this, including that black. Let's just make that black white and then it's going to completely go away, of course. And then we can just move that back out here to the middle and download it when we're done. So that's a way to be able to grab a hold of a bunch of icons very quickly and uh, change them around a little bit and get them working on your site. Now, the other thing that I like to do inside a flat icon is you come up here and you saw the hamburger bun menu up here at the top and we're going to come down to patterns generator. And what this is going to do is it's going to create a background for us. 
So what we want to do is we'll come in here first off and let's just say we want to search and let's just say we want to search for animals. And then we want to search for animals and we will hit enter and then we will hit icons and I may have to do this in reverse order. Let's see here. Okay, I clicked on icons. Now let's type in animals and hit enter. And now we have all kinds of icons of animals. Now what you can do is you can click on any one of these and it will put it out here and it spaces them out equally. And then you can click on the next one and we can put in a penguin and we can put in whatever we want. But instead of clicking on them, you can also just grab them and bring them in and set them anywhere you want. So we can bring in a whole bunch of different icons, setting them anywhere that we want. And you can, okay, that one was a premium one, so that wouldn't let me put that one in there. And let's bring in this little puppy dog right here. So now let's just take any one of these. We'll click on it. And of course, once you get them in here, you can start moving them around. So you want this dog down here a little bit further. And then you can grab a hold of this uh, dark circle and you can make the dog bigger. And you, of course, can rotate the dog around. You can do all kinds of stuff like this. And let's move him back down a little bit. And let's move him over. And then what we can also do is we can flip him back and forth. And if you do this enough times, you can make the little doggy wag its tail. And then we can also change the color of the dog. So we got all kinds of different uh, default templates here. And we can just scroll down and you can pick out a color template if you want. And we can change that out. Let's change the dog to this color. And then you also have other colors down here. And of course, a color picker. So you can pull this all the way down, and at this point it's going to make him all white, but we'll just click over here and turn him red. And then let's see what else we can do in here. We can change the opacity, so we can make him uh, stand out more or less by taking the opacity down on it. You can click this here to duplicate the dog, and we'll just uh, delete one of these out then. And then what else we can do? We can move them forward or back. So let's straighten out our little dog here and then let's take our little kitty cat and put our cat's head over the top. Well, what we want now is we want this one to come forward. So we will click on that. And now the cat came forward and let's make his head a little bit bigger. And now we have made ourselves a dog cat. And now if we want to, we could click out of here and we can click on the dog and then we can make the kitty cat wag its tail. Isn't that cute? So that's how you could do that. Now let's take a look at a couple other things. You can set the background in here as well. So you can set the color of the background. So let's make the color of the background. You can just move this around. And then of course you can also, you can uh, change this here. We can go to more of a black color or we can stay in our colors here. And then we can move this down and actually change the opacity of the background. So you could put this over the top of something and whatever is behind it would bleed through as well. And of course, you can put in your hex number here uh, to have that color match the color on your site. So let's go back into the search. And I think I showed you just about everything on here that we can move it, rotate it, all that. And then you can also do this. You can come up here and you can just click on random and it will randomly build out a page for you, including uh, changing out the background color. So I have animals typed in here, so it will just randomly grab a bunch of different uh, animal pictures and then also change out the background. And I think if you come in here and you change this opacity, let's change that opacity down, and then we click on random, it will continue to leave that opacity in the background as well. So let's put this back up and go back into search. And then if you want to just clear everything off, you just clear that there. And then let me uh, just do one more example here because what I did with uh, gears one day is I just came in and I just dropped a whole bunch of gears in and um, I'd have to go out and find where I, where I ended up putting that example when I got done with it. But let's just see here what we got. And so what I can do here, now let's take these gears and let's try to make them so they kind of fit together and make some sort of sense out of them. And uh, so we can make them a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. 
and just kind of start playing around and actually making a design out of this so it doesn't just look like you know something that's totally random but that we actually have a design and an idea of what we're trying to make this look like so like i said we can just uh just keep playing around with everything if i could get it to click on here all of a sudden it doesn't want to click there we go um and we'll just bring this up here and of course you get the idea you can just manip manipulate this any way you want then you can come in and you can say okay i want to make a, a background but i want it to be semi-transparent in the back because i have another image i want to be coming through this so that's it it's a really cool way to be able to create a background for any site, any section on any site, even for something like you might want to do this for, uh, what am I thinking, uh, like on Facebook or something like that. So that is it for today. If you have any questions on Flat Icon, feel free to reach out. Have a great day.